Police are asking for the public's help tonight. Three days after a 12-year-old girl said she was kidnapped from a park in Webster and assaulted by a stranger, investigators want information and they want surveillance video. WBZ's Paul Burton has the latest all new at 5. Police say they're combing through hours and hours of surveillance video, but they still need more to help identify and capture the man they say kidnapped a 12-year-old girl from this park here in Webster and sexually assaulted her over the weekend. Meanwhile, residents remain on edge until this man is caught. No one's probably going to to sleep great at night until we get this person in custody, which I'm confident that we will do. A 12-year-old girl in Webster is kidnapped by a stranger and sexually assaulted. Now police are looking for help. It's very frightening. Yeah, it could be my niece or my cousin. It could be anyone. Police say it happened here at May Park on Saturday in the middle of the day. The 12-year-old came here by herself to meet a friend. While she was waiting, a man in a black two-door car with a long hood pulled up and asked her to get inside to help his friend. He was taking what we believe to an undisclosed location uh, in Connecticut where she was sexually assaulted and then brought back to uh, where we believe she was dropped off in the vicinity of on Chase Avenue in Dudley. After she was dropped off, the 12-year-old knocked on a house and asked for help. The family called the girl's parents and police. Very concerned because it's like you're not safe anymore. Police have been checking surveillance video in the area May Park, but they are looking for more in order to get a full description of the man. Described as a white male with blonde hair and a, which in their terms, a skinny face. The girl is back home safe with her family, but deeply impacted by this incident. Horrified that it happened, but at the same time, I think that, you know, they also feel very lucky that it didn't end up worse. It devastated me when I seen it because I have a five and a half year old little girl. Police are also looking for any surveillance video of Lake Parkway and Thompson Roads on May 31st between the hours of 2.30 and 4.30. I think it's important for parents to have that dialogue with their children about when they go to places when they're not with an adult, how to act, what to do if they're approached by a stranger. Obviously, this incident remains under investigation. Again, police asking for the public's help. Anyone with information or video or still pictures of these areas to please contact them. We're live in Webster tonight. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.